This video will demonstrate the workflow for inlay, onlay and veneer in the TRIOS application. On the Patients page, click New Session. Select the lab you want to produce the case. On the order form, select the tooth on which the restoration is planned. Select the tab Indication and open the drop-down list named Type and select Inlay Onlay. Then select Material in the Material drop-down list. And if you have a predetermined shade, select it in the Shade drop-down list. Now you are ready to scan. Press the Scan Workflow step in the top workflow bar. Use Retraction Cord and or Hemostatic Agents if parts of the margin are subgingival. In this case, start by scanning the opposing arch to allow time for the retraction methods to take effect. In this case, we start by scanning the lower arch. For cases where parts of the margin are below the gingiva, follow one of the two scanning options outlined in the crown video. In this particular case, there are no parts of the margin below the gingiva. So simply follow the official scan strategy, which is... Start by scanning the occlusal surface from the molar to the canine. Then, as it is the lower arch, slowly roll to the lingual side and move the scanner in the distal direction. Finally, slowly roll over the last molar and scan the buccal side. Now proceed to the upper arch. Scan the same area as in the lower arch. Follow the official scan strategy, which is start by scanning the occlusal surface from the molar to the canine. Then, as it is the upper arch, slowly roll to the buccal side and move the scanner in the distal direction. Finally, slowly roll over the last molar and scan the lingual side. Make sure that you cover the prepped area, including the margin line and contact points. Do this by zooming in on the preparation, turn off colors, and rotate the preparation. Mark the preparation by clicking the center of the preparation when seen from the occlusal view. A blue ball will appear on the preparation. Now you have the opportunity to take a shade measurement and a HD photo. Please see the TRIOS shade measurement and TRIOS HD photo videos for more information. Now move to the Byte Scan page. Insert the scan tip to the second molar on the buccal side. Ask the patient to bite. Scan three to four teeth until the upper and lower arches snap to the bite scan. The light blue surface indicates the surface covered by the bite scan. When scanning the arches, there are a few things that will help you to obtain the correct bite. 1. Avoid artifacts on the molar surface. These may result from soft tissue, lips, cheek, tongue, being scanned onto the teeth. Fix. Retract soft tissue from the teeth while scanning, using, for example, a dental mirror. 2. Avoid excess soft tissue at the back. This may be distal of the last molars, or it may be large portions of sulcus to the cheek. 3. Finally avoid bubbles of saliva being scanned onto the occlusal surface. Dry the teeth before scanning. 4. If you should accidentally scan one or more of the mentioned artifacts on the teeth, simply trim away the artifact and rescan that area. Go to the validation page and confirm that there is enough space for the reconstruction between the upper and lower jaw using the clearance tool. Optionally, you can set the margin line. You can also add some comments on the 3D scan using the annotation tool. To learn more, see the TRIOS Analyze Page Tools video. Finally, switch to the Send page. Verify the order and press Send Order. When the order has been sent, the three-shape communicate window becomes active. You can use it for communication with the lab by writing comments and sending screenshots. Now you know how to make an inlay, onlay, veneer case. Thank you for watching.